Generating an apology to the Honorable House and Honorable Members who had questions and who had done their research to make interventions. As an old colleague in the House, uh, you know, the premium you put to the need to appear before this House to respond to any issues by the people's representatives. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and um, honorable members. Thank you for this invite to answer questions related to the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my apologies. It was not intended uh, to disobey this house. Uh, it was my first presence that I was going to make. I gave the notice not to appear in a short notice, which I apologize. And uh, next time, I'll be able to give an apology early enough to notify the House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Apology taken. What is out of order on that, Yegon? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wonder what uh, the minister is saying that uh, next time she's going to give an early apology. Is she expecting not to come again next time? <laughs> we will not allow her to choose when to come and when not to come, or when to apologize or when not to apologize. Minister, when the House requires you to be in the House, you drop everything and uh, come for us to have set Wednesday. We even synchronize with the executive that there are no cabinet meetings on Wednesdays. So Wednesdays, when you are obligated to be here, you have an obligation to be here. Uh, we'll let it uh, rest there. We have several questions, starting with the member who has just asked whether you will uh, you anticipate not to come and apologize. Brighton, you're gone. You may ask your question 088 of 2023. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My first question to the Minister for or Cabinet Secretary for Labor and Social Protection. Uh, could the Cabinet Secretary provide the number of Kenyans working in Saudi Arabia and their status of residency, the type of employment and working stations, as well as the number of reported cases of deaths, torture, and inhuman treatment of Kenyans working in the Gulf states 